Hello and welcome to another episode of Glorious Glow Empowerment Podcast. It is Mental Health Awareness Week, which ends on Sunday, the 24th of May. As a result, I'm reading extracts from my book. Stay tuned as you listen. Thank you. I am reading from chapter 3 titled Causes in African Traditional Groups of Mental Health Conflicts. The first heading I have here is over-spiritualization. Quite large communities in Africa attach an extreme stigma to mental health challenges. In many places, people with mental health issues are considered as not fit enough to reside in their usual family setting or society. They are thus abandoned, separated, or completely ostracized and excluded from where ordinary, quote and unquote, people live. Some even see mentally ill persons as a dilemma and a curse for their families. Their families are sometimes seen as a community of, quote and unquote, crazy people. And they are referred to as a family not to marry from as a result. Especially when more than one person is suffering from a mental illness in the family. In other groups or religions, the influence of witchcraft, wizardry, and evil spirits are attached to people experiencing mental health issues instead of seeing them as people in the community who are just sick and need treatment. Some religious organizations also get involved in over-spiritualizing mental health problems. The perception of members of these African communities, therefore, should be redirected towards seeing mental health issues as another illness that can be accommodated in the community. Reason and rationality need to be presented as the answer, not a disguised and distorted modern form of ancient beliefs around culture, voodoo, and witch doctors. The various mindsets and views of the African communities towards mental health issues have run deep. Steps towards destigmatization in the community are still possible. Awareness of different means and avenues whereby these persons can be helped should be done in the communities. As can be observed from the extracts read so far, mental illness is just like any other ailment out there that can be treated. As a result, there is no need to be wary of people with mental illness. They need your love, they need your support in order to get through difficult time they might be having in dealing with this mental illness. This this mental health awareness, do remember to be kind while this mental health awareness week is going on and show kindness beyond this week as well. I'm sure anyone who is experiencing mental illness would really appreciate a show of kindness. Thank you once again for listening to my podcast. I do hope you are learning one or two things or you've learned one or two things so far. Join me again tomorrow as I read some more extracts from my book. My book is available on Amazon. Type Behind the Veil by Gloria Lamide. And it will be readily available to you because it will be posted straight to your home address. Thank you. Take care and God bless. Bye.